Hi everyone, it's Gina. I got a surprise. This came in the mail just today and it is from Joy Crusetti and Joy was our winner of the thousand subscriber drawing I had uh, about a month or so ago and this came in the mail and Happy mail is such the appropriate word for <laughs> because I got it and I was like, oh my gosh. So I, it, I definitely felt happiness and excitement and joy as soon as I saw it. So I wanted to share it with you. I thought I would open this together and we can take a look. And already, look how beautiful it was wrapped. That's great, Joy. So I'm going to unwrap this. And I see a tag already, but let me see if I can get to it a little bit better. Let's see. <laughs> I want to be careful. I don't want to tear it. Let's see if I can just, yeah, there we go. I can just scooch it off. And I will uh, untangle it in just a little bit. <gasps> Look at this tag. Isn't that adorable? And what cute little danglies. And I have to admit, that's something I have not yet done on any of my tags that I've made. I have added the little rivet right there and and then some material but I have not yet added any kind of dangle and look at those charms isn't that just adorable oh I love it beautiful tag this little piece it says kindness is the language which the deaf can hear and the blind can see and that's a quote from Mark Twain so that is gorgeous look at this tag oh and I have that um, die cut too yay beautiful love it oh let's see what's in here i love this material too looks like journal cover material to me <laughs> let's see oh look at the goodies oh my goodness oh look okay one thing at a time this has got lots of pieces so like my ephemera in my kit for my creative scrapbook I always save till the end I think I will save this to the end now let's take a look at these oh look I love it the hidden paper clip that's awesome oh I love it isn't that pretty you know it's something just so simple but isn't it just nice to add something interesting to just an everyday object and it's still useful but it just adds a little extra something in your life to have it look really pretty <laughs> i love that look at this isn't that pretty ah oh, great for journaling cards oh i love it oh isn't that pretty i guess i'm thinking maybe she stamped it and then she colored it Joy, you will have to you will have to tell me, and there may be a note in here somewhere. I'm not sure, but oh, that's so pretty. Looks like watercolor, maybe. Just lovely. Oh look. Oh, okay, that's cool. Oh, I love that. Looks like it would fit right into a journal. Isn't that pretty? Hmm. I love that. Put everything on our little square here. Okay, let's take a look. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff in here. <laughs> Joy, look at what you did. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff and it's so adorable. Everything I see is catching my eye. I'm going to look at every bit of it. Lots of things I can use. All right. Oh, look. Isn't that cute? Come here, you. Oh, gosh. Look at these little flowers. Oh, man. They're cute. Oh, and a butterfly. Wow. Oh, that one's on there. I don't want to take that off. Aren't they cute? And they're shiny. Oh gosh, I just love the butterfly. Isn't that pretty? Gotta love these. Love, love, love them. Aren't they cute? Oh my gosh. Okay, look at everything in here. All these little tags. Be amazed. Happy birthday! Another happy birthday. 
purple and the flowers. Isn't that cute? So it's like a little envelope on this side and it's got a pocket here. So a little journal card. Oh, isn't that cute? Flowers on both sides. Let me bring you in so you can see better. Okay. Oh, that is just adorable. That goes in here like that. Oh, look. Uh, oh, no, okay. <laughs> I didn't want to pull on that too hard. Okay, oh, isn't that neat? That's a little clip. I've actually not seen a clip like that. That's interesting. It's like a little paper clip. Oh, I love it. Well, that is adorable. Got a little pocket there. And then a pocket here. Ah, that's so cute. The little pole just fits right inside that notch. I love that. Isn't that cute? Lots of paper, pretty lace, and I get I don't know if this was I wonder. Let me see if I can see how she did that. Hmm. Not sure if that's just glued on, but that's cute. I love the paper. The paper is just a variety of different papers, but look how pretty. I love how it turns out. Place to write on the back. Oops. Oh, here's more of these flowers. That is so cute. Now, I had something similar in mind for a video, but yeah, it's similar to this, but not quite. I love how glossy it is. I wonder if she used glossy accents. I bet. Hmm. Hmm. Not sure. Oh, here's a. Oops. Oops. Another one. That's pretty. Look. A little dangle. Another tag. Look at that. Glued on some little gems. <laughs> you know, they add a little sparkle. They it adds so much to to your little piece. Placed a journal on the back. Just. Pretty, pretty, adorable. Look at that one. Another one. And it's just got a simple little paper clip with little beads on it. That's cute. I'm going to have to expand my tag repertoire <laughs> to start including dangles. Because it is really cute. Very pretty. I love the flowers. Love it. Oh, look at the bookmark. I really love that. Look at that. Love the material. Oh my goodness. You can write on the back if you want. But look. It has a couple of layers. There's a layer of lace. And it looks like there's even another little layer underneath. And then there's a layer of maybe some string on top. Too cute. Oh, sorry, it's my phone. Oh, I'm back. Sorry about that. Actually, let me let me move this. Cause I think you might be able to get a better view on just the white background. Okay, so that is just gorgeous. Let's see. Yay, more flowers. Hmm, that one's got a brad. I wonder if they all had brads. Nope, some of them were glued and some of them have a little back. Okay. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I bet she painted that. Yes, she did. There's her little name. Isn't that pretty? Good job, Joy. I love it. Oh, I love that. I just love that torn look. This is, oh, this is strong. Um, I wonder what weight that is. Wow, that's really thick. Feels like it's all cotton paper. Love that. She is an ephemera making machine. Look at this. Love these flowers. And I will definitely be using them. Oh, I just love how it turns out. Isn't that pretty? Huh. 
circles can't go wrong with circles not that cute yep brad's there so cute oh and little flowers are these stickers they kind of feel like they're stickers pretty oh what are these um oh <laughs> that cute simple but look how adorable that is you could put that down or even just you know rip and put one add it in a little place oh yay and i've got a bunch of them all right now i've got them separated so we've got hearts and bicycles and life is beautiful i love that lots of those and lots of just a little leaf little twig adorable love it this over here oh i think there's some more hold on hold on oh bees i love bees and dragonflies i love dragonflies when i was getting joy's information we found out that we did have something in common um about bees our, both her her father and my father uh enjoyed beekeeping so i thought that was so cool so look she gave me bees <laughs> my mom was doing beekeeping as well lots of bees love it butter butterflies absolutely wonderful i adore dragonflies they're so cool hey thank you joy that was wonderful love these oh we have some wings Isn't that pretty oh look at the cluster that's adorable and more danglies now i'm gonna to have to get some charms i don't think i have hardly any charms I think I may have some Christmas ones that came with a kit. I don't think I ever use them. It's just a fun little embellishment to add. It adds another element, and that's always a lot of fun. The more elements that are there, the more it catches your eye, and it's more interesting to look at. It's more to discover, and that's always fun. Here's another one. Oh, that's pretty. So she painted it, and I'm guessing this maybe it could be triple thick. She might have put that on it as well, because that's glossy and thick. Hmm not sure what she did oh wow there's a penny I've seen these little things and I've seen people use them um, just to put little pictures in and such <laughs> but that's neat oh wow look what we have in here it's more to discover it's so much fun isn't that pretty that is just lovely it's like shades of blue there's just a little bit of black but it's beautiful Oh, I love that. I just love this paper. It is like really, really thick. It's practically like cardboard, but it just feels like it's just all cotton. It's very, very textured. Oh, I love the airmail envelope as well. I don't have any of these. <laughs> and we've got lots of tickets. And I have some pretty gold paper clips. And we have, a, oh, a big envelope. Oh, look at that. So she reused um, like a checking, like what they give money in. If you go to the bank and, add, and pull out cash or sometimes they'll even, if you're going through the drive through they'll put your credit card in a little envelope like this. And uh, she just altered it. I love it. Just look at this. Just a plethora of ephemera. What a wonderful surprise. And I just saw your note, so... <laughs> I don't know why I didn't flip this over to begin with, but thank you so much, and I just appreciate that you enjoy watching my channel and find the videos inspirational because that's why I do it. It's just the joy of creating and the joy of sharing it to make sure that everybody knows you can do it. Sharing ideas is how we all learn and grow. It makes life more interesting. You sent my very first happy mail, so <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. It was wonderful. It was uh, so much fun to open and explore and wonder how you made them. And, and I tell you, it is inspiring to get this because now I want to try to make some of what you had sent. I love this bookmark i love the idea of the design and how you have the stamp here and how you added the trim and the lace and everything right here so i want to try to do something similar to this one 
Okay, so I've been looking at this and I've been gathering supplies to see how closely I can recreate it. When I looked at it a little closer, I don't think this is a stamp. I think this piece just came from a larger sheet of decorative paper and so it's not going to look like this because I don't have this paper. But I'm going to see what I can do and uh, we'll just do the best we can. So to start, I have a piece of file folder that I've cut two inches by five inches, which matches the size that she used. I'm just going to use hers as a template. So, and then cut this side. And it looks like she may have rounded the edges of the bottom, so I'm going to do that. This is the one I can find. I'm gonna go ahead and use it. While this is all part of the design of this paper, I'm going to have to find pieces that is along a similar line and just glue it on top. So I've got this pad. It's not exact, but I was looking at maybe cutting off this piece right here. Diagonal. And then just come straight up. Actually, I think I've changed my mind. This piece comes down and that piece kind of lays over top, so I'll cut this piece separately. It's just not long enough. Well, it would be long enough if I turned my lines the other way, <laughs> which I might just have to do. If I do it like that, and then lay this piece over top, up. Turn that off a little bit. Something like that. I'm just going to go for it. There's no way I can match it exactly. We just have to do the best we can. So I'm going to get out my Scotch Mega Glue Stick. I'll just go ahead and glue this down. Something like this. Now, we can set this one on top. If you guys want to craft along with me, just pause the video and go see what supplies you have. Come back, start it up again, and just craft along with me. That would be great. All right. All right. There we go. Let's just trim this off. And that's what we have. I probably should have inked this before I put it down. That would have been much easier, but hey, I'm gonna go with it. I've got walnut stain, so that will do just fine. I'm not sure if you can hear the vacuum going upstairs. My husband is vacuuming. Uh, we're getting ready to watch a movie in just a little bit. Um, I might as well, since I've got the ink out, I'll go ahead and go around the edges. Now, here is my idea to try to recreate the, the fern leaves coming off all of these different stems. <laughs> I've only got one fern stamp and I just wasn't that impressed. I do have this other little stamp that I thought I might get a better result with. So there's a lot of littler ones down here at the bottom. So I thought I would use this little one to create that effect. We will put, we will put a few. Now it will look a little different because I've got paper here, so it might look a little funky when I stamp because it's not an even surface. We'll get there. Now to get the smaller one, I just don't want to get the ink on all of the stem. There. So I press it down like that so the ink only goes halfway. I think just to make sure, it doesn't hurt to add a layer of protection. <laughs> okay, so we can go ahead and do one here. Yeah, look, well, yep, well that would have been okay, but still. Alrighty. So there's some like that. Maybe one more. 
going off that way. Now I'm not going to go all the way down to the very bottom just yet. We'll do one like that. There. Now I need to figure out my stem situation. So I think what I'm going to do is just try to ink the stem. I'm going to try to match it up with a little bit of the stem that I've already stamped. Alright, we're getting there. Let's do it again. Alright, mm, not as good as the first one, but I'll take it. <laughs> I think one more will get us there. Alright. It's not perfect, but there we go. I think I want to add a little bit more to this stem, and that should do it. Hmm. I just thought if I need another one over here, it looks kind of bare. Yeah, I think we can put the, the edge of one. Not bad, I just need to finish the stem. And there we go. It's still not quite as dark as this, but I think what I'll do, out of all the green pens I have, this is the closest one that I think is a dark color. Yeah, that's good and dark. And it is a Faber-Castell. Pit Artist Pen Calligraphy. So it's actually a calligraphy pen, but it has a nice hard edge. So I'm just going to use it just to kind of go over a few parts, just to add a little bit of darker color, which adds depth. So I'm just going to kind of trace over what I've already stamped. sure if that helped or hurt <laughs> but I'm having fun so hopefully that counts <laughs> all right there's also like a root showing I found a brown marker from United Office these are super cheapy I think I got it at Lidl and I'll just use it to make a little root a little root ball down here so it goes Has little little roots coming off it. So there we go. I'm going to go find some fabrics that I think I can uh, use to recreate this part. Back to you. It is the next morning, so if my voice sounds a little gruff, I haven't been up very long. So <laughs> this is the first speaking I'm I'm actually doing. So I found a piece of lace ribbon that. I thought was pretty close to what she used. It's a little light so I may need to rub some vintage photo or something over it just to darken it just a little bit. And there's like a little bitty layer under the colored string and it looks very papery. So I have some coffee dyed tea bag and I think I'm going to cut some strips or tear some strips and use that for the second layer. And for the third layer I didn't have any string like that but I do have this pretty little piece right here. I'm hoping that's just going to work. Add a little bit of color to it. Okay, so let's get going.
Okay, I think that's on. I'm not sure about the little decorative piece on top. That was really kind of hard to glue. <laughs> I've got glue stuck to me everywhere. Okay, hopefully that will stay on. And I do have eyelets that are this color. So I think I'll go with that. So I have a crop of dial and I'm going to use that. And this size is a 3 16th. So I need to use the 3 16th. Now this one, you can see the hole punch is up here. So I put it up here first. Okay. Now my little eyelet should fit in just like that. Now I use this end. Oh, that didn't go right. Hold on. It should just go right in here. Squeeze it good and hard. Not sure why I can't get it out. Let's see. Um, I had a hard time getting it out. I'm wondering if I had it on the wrong setting. I didn't think so. Let me try this one. Okay, there we go. I must have had it on the wrong setting. That smushed the other side real well. Okay, here we go. We're back on track. <laughs> All right, let me cut this little piece off here. Okay, I'm going to come back in and ink a little bit more. I don't think I inked well enough. I will just kind of dirty it up a little bit. Looking good. Now I just need to get some fabric for the topper. And I do like how this one has plenty of color in it. I think it really adds to the piece. This has got a lot of real earthy tones and this gives just a little bit of a pop. Of course I don't have that fabric so I took a piece of the cotton pillowcase that I've been using and I thought I would try to to make something so I have my gouache out I think I will just put just a little bit of color on here I don't want to you know make it too colorful but I want to add some maybe some greens and browns there's pink up here and kind of red tones down here so I'll try to tie it all in I dried it a little bit and now I'm going to come back and add a little bit more dark green. Also since it's not so wet everything I put down won't bleed as much. Where I had tried to put little circles to represent some flower petals I think I'll go in and maybe try to highlight those and see if I can't get a little bit more definition to them. I'm going to add a little bit more Distress ink. I found my vintage photo, so I'm just going to use that all over. Gosh, this might be dry. Try to spritz it just with a little water and see if that helps. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, I'm going to add my topper. Looks like she might have pushed it through first. Okay, we have the topper on and I think it works. The last thing to do is add this little ball right here and I have Nouveau Drops. It is pretty close to that color and that's the only color that I have so I'm going to use it as the very last thing I do because it takes a while to dry. It's just hard to use Nouveau Drops without messing them up. <laughs> it needs to be the very last thing you do. Okay, so it goes up top here. Let me bring you in. I'm going to try to carefully show you. I'll move it just a little bit. I'll scooch it. So here we go. Here's the top. I may have gotten a little carried away with my colors, but that's okay. Here we go. All the way down. There. All right, so that is my attempt to recreate this bookmark that Joy has sent. Once again, I'd like to say thank you, Joy. That was such a sweet gift. I love getting the happy mail. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, give me the thumbs up and leave a comment. Have you seen some of the items that she made before? Have you made them already? All right, that's going to be it for this one. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.